Welcome back, everybody. Today's lesson, we're talking about story problems with linear inequalities. Let's get started. The problem says Joshua's goal is to sell more than 20 items at a farmer's market. So far, he has sold six items. Each customer buys two items. Let's see, represent the total number of additional customers Josh must have to meet his goal. Josh will need to need more than how many customers to reach his goal. Okay. More than 20. We see the phrase more than 20. So right away we can say greater than 20. So far he sold six items and each customer buys two items. The six items are already accounted for and let's if C is representing the number of customers 2 is how much 2 is how many items each customer buys that sets up our inequality 2C plus 6 greater than 20 let's go about solving this first we're going to take away 6 20 minus 6 is 14 Divide the 2 away on both sides. 14 divided by 2 is 7. So the number of customers Joshua needs to meet his goal is 7. He needs greater than 7 customers. Next one we're going to set up and solve, but then we'll just answer a couple of statements and say whether those statements are true or false. Cassidy's goal is to raise more than $75 for charity. We can stop right there have that set up more than 75 greater than 75 already raised six dollars selling cupcakes for three dollars each C represents the number of cupcakes 3 C let's solve for C take away six 75 minus 6, 69. Divide by the 3. C must be greater than 23. So let's say whether the statements below are true or false. Cassidy will need any number of cupcakes greater than 12 to reach her goal. That is false. Cassidy will need to sell any number of cupcakes greater than 23 to reach your goal. That is true. Let's look at another one here. Movie theater allows fewer than 80 people at a screening. Let's pause right there and start setting up our inequality. Fewer than 80. Fewer than 80. It's less than 80. Eight employees will attend the next screening. So we account for eight. along n groups of people with each group having four people. Four n. Which inequality can be used to match this situation? Looking at all the inequalities here, it looks like a is our winner. Four n plus eight, less than 80. Eight, the number of employees that will attend, less than 80, fewer than 80, and four times, four times n standing for four people for each number of groups. Another multiple choice one. Dennis has less than 70 minutes to spend some on some homework questions. Let's go about setting up our inequality as we read this. Less than 70 minutes. Less than 70. So far he spent 10 minutes. The rest of the questions will take five and a half, five halves minutes, two or two and a half minutes each. All right, uh, let's use a, how about a Q for the number of questions? And five divided by two minutes, five halves minutes. Let's go about solving this now. First, we're going to take away 10. Leaves us with five halves Q. 
less than 60. Now we need to get rid of the fraction. We'll get rid of it by multiplying by its reciprocal, 5 halves times 2 fifths. Now Q is by itself. 60 times 2 fifths. We think of it as 60 times 2 divided by 5. Q has to be less than 24. That leaves us to choice B. Dennis can complete fewer than 24 questions. Last one. One more multiple choice. A business assistant must leave more than $50 in a supply account. So right away, let's identify the more than 50. Greater than 50. There is... $200 in the account. The assistant needs to order X boxes of pens that cost $10.50 each. Okay, so that $200, we're starting with that amount, but then we're subtracting away from that however many boxes of pens they need to order. They're ordering X boxes of pens at $10.50 each. So when you order, we're going to be taking away money. $10.50 times X. What's the maximum number of boxes that, of pens that the business assistant can buy? First thing we're going to do is take away 200 from both sides. Fifty minus 200 is negative 150. We're now going to divide both sides by negative 10.50. Calculator, 150 divided by 10.5. Now, this comes out to positive 14.3 if we were to round. So, the number of boxes he can order has to be greater than 14.3. Okay, 14.3 We want to, we're going to choose choice B. Alright, that's our video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.